morning year two today we are going to be learning how to compare and order time intervals for your work today we're going to need a pencil we're going to need some paper to write down our ideas and it may help you to refer to your homemade clock vocabulary will be 22, 25 minutes to, quarter to, 10 to, 5 to o'clock, 5 past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 minutes past, half past. I will also be referring to minutes and hours. Okay, a bit of a recap on what we've learnt so far. So when the big hand is pointing towards 12, no minutes have gone past and we say it's o'clock. When the minute hand is pointing towards the 1, we say 5 minutes have gone past and it's 5 past. When the minute hand is pointing towards the two, we say it's 10 minutes have gone by and it's 10 past. When the minute hand is pointing towards the three, we say 15 minutes have gone by and we say it is quarter past. When the minute hand is pointing towards the four, we say 20 minutes have gone by and it's 20 past. When the minute hand is pointing towards the five, we say 25 minutes past. When the minute hand is pointing towards the six, 60 minutes have gone, sorry, 30 minutes have gone by and we say it's half past. When the minute hand points towards the seven, 35 minutes have gone by, but we say it's 25 minutes too because there's 25 minutes to the next hour. When the minute hand is pointing towards the eight, we say that 40 minutes have gone by, but there's 20 minutes to the next hour. So we say 22. When the minute hand is pointing towards the nine, we say 45 minutes have gone by and it's quarter to. When the minute hand is pointing towards the 10, although 50 minutes have gone by, there are 10 minutes before it gets to o'clock, so we say 10 to. And when the minute hand is pointing towards the 11, we say fifth, uh, 50 min five minutes have gone by and there's five minutes before it's o'clock. Here are other things that we've learned. We've learned that there's 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, 120 minutes in two hours, there are 24 hours in one day, there are seven days a week, starting with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there's 14 days in a fortnight, and there's 12 months in a year. So the first thing we're going to do is think about comparing time. So if I look at these two pieces of information, it says, which do you think takes longer? Traveling to the moon or running a marathon? Now, Mrs. Sadler has run a marathon and she did take a long time in doing it. And it does take about, and it is about 26 miles. I did it fairly long and that took me about six hours I know Mrs Knott did it in about five hours now traveling to the moon now traveling to the moon would take longer because there's lots more miles between the earth and the moon so I think it's traveling to the moon and I think this because the moon would take longer because the moon's a long way away it's about 238, 900,000 miles away. And a marathon is a shorter distance. It's only 26. Now, which do you think is going to take longer? Building a house 
or building a Lego tower. Talk to an adult about your reasoning. So I gave you time to think about which takes longer, building a house or building a Lego tower. And it is actually building a house. It does take about three to four weeks to build a house. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Which one do you think takes longer? Reading a party invitation or reading the book? Pause the video and have a talk with an adult. Well, actually reading a book takes longer than reading a party invitation. About minutes and hours. So I've got a question here. It says, can you compare these times? And I've got 10 minutes and 45 minutes. Now, 10 minutes, if I use my um, homemade clock, it only looks like a small amount has gone by there. And 45 minutes, now that looks like a greater amount of time. So I think 45 minutes is larger than 10 minutes. And I use the symbol, the crocodile always eats the largest number. So it shows that 10 minutes is less than 45 minutes because the crocodile always eats the biggest number. Now, here's what I would like you to talk with an adult to. Can you compare these times? 120 minutes and 55 minutes. Pause the video and talk to an adult about which you think is the longest. Now, when I thought it through, I knew that 120 minutes is a lot bigger amount than 55 minutes. And I also know that there's 60 minutes in one hour and 120 minutes is in two hours. And I know that two hours is bigger than 55 minutes. So 120 minutes is larger and longest in time than 55 minutes. Okay, this time we can actually put these times in order starting from the smallest. So I've got two hours, 90 minutes, 15 minutes and 180 minutes. Now, I already know that 15 minutes is the smallest amount. So I think that will go first. Now I know that the 60 minutes in one hour and there's 30 minutes in half an hour and 60 of 30 is 90. So that's one and a half hours. So it could be that one, but I'm going to look at the 180. Well, if there's 60 minutes in one hour, there's 120 in two hours. And there'll be 180 in three hours. So that's three hours. So I think it's 15 minutes followed by 90 minutes. Now, 180 minutes is three hours. So I know that's bigger than two hours. So I think that one will be last. So I think two hours will come last. So 15 minutes, 90 minutes, oh, two hours, and 180 minutes. Question, talk it through with an adult or perhaps your older sibling. Can you put these times in order, starting with the smallest amount? We have 30 minutes, 10, 50 minutes, 25 minutes and 10 minutes. So which one do you think would go first? So you should have talked to an adult. Okay, so you should have had 10 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes. I would like you to talk through with an adult or your older brothers and sisters. Can you put these times in order starting with the smallest amount? This time we've got some hours and minutes. So I've got 10 hours, 3 minutes, 15 minutes and 3 hours. Mm. 
which one do you think should go first? Well, you should have put three minutes because three minutes, minutes are shorter than hours. And you should have had 15 minutes, three hours and 10 hours. It says, which clocks show a time between half past three and half past five? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is read what time each clock says. And what I'm going to use to help me is my homemade clock. So when I look at the first clock, the minute hand is on the 12, so I know it's o'clock, and the air hand is pointing towards the 4. So the first clock says 4 o'clock. The next clock, the minute hand is pointing towards the seven. I'm going to look at my the seven. So it's 25 minutes two. And the hour hand has gone past the six. It's not quite on the seven. So it must be 25 to seven. So I know it can't be that one because 25 to seven is way ahead of half past five. Okay, so I'm going to look at the next one. The minute hand is on the three. I'm going to look at my clock again. I've got quarter past, so it's quarter past. And then the hour hand is pointing towards the seven. So that says quarter past seven. So I know it can't be that because it's after half past five. And my last clock, it, the minute hand is pointing towards the six and the our hand is pointing just past the four, so that says half past four. Now, I know half past four comes after half past three, so that's one of the clocks. And the other clock is the first clock that says four o'clock. This is what I would like you to discuss with an adult. Which clocks show a time between quarter past one and quarter past three? top tip look very carefully at the time of the clocks first okay. so the first clock the minute hand is pointing towards the 12 so it's o'clock and the air hand is pointing to the one so it's one o'clock and one o'clock comes before quarter past one so it can't be that one the next clock the minute hand is pointing towards the seven so it's 25 minutes two and the air hand is approaching the four, so it's 25 minutes to four. Now, 25 minutes to four comes after quarter past three, so it can't be that one. The next clock, the minute hand is pointing towards the six, so it's half past. The air hand is on its, is past the one, so it's half past one. So half past one comes after quarter past one, so that's one of the clocks. On the next one, the minute hand is pointing towards the nine, so it's quarter two. And the hour hand is pointing towards, going towards the two, so it's quarter to two. So that's the second clock. And the last clock, the minute hand is pointing towards the six, that makes it half past. And the minute hand is past the three, so it's half past three. Well, it can't be that clock because that's says half past three comes after quarter past three so the times are half past one and quarter two See, you are going to use the symbols greater than and less than and equals to, and you are going to compare the time. So you're going to tell me which is the longest time or which is the shortest time. So you've got 25 minutes, 35 minutes, 90 minutes, 65 minutes, two hours, 120 minutes, 180 minutes, three hours, 10 minutes. 
one hour, 45 minutes and 110 minutes. Then you're going to put these times in order, starting with the smallest. So you've got 20 minutes, two hours, 45 minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, half past two, quarter to one, 25 minutes to two and half past three. And the last one, quarter to 12, 20 past one, five to one and five to 12. After you've finished your fluency questions, I would let, then like you to move on to your probing question. Convince me that these time intervals are in size order. Now, how you convince me, remember how in the past I've said, whenever you convince me, you've got to draw the picture to show me. So it might be worth you actually showing me by drawing pictures to help me. So you've got five minutes, half an hour, one hour and 50 minutes. To further extension, which of these clock faces shows a time between five o'clock and seven o'clock? Top tip, look at each clock and write down the times first. That will help you. Okay, so you should be more confident comparing time intervals tomorrow we're just going to recap on what we've learned throughout the whole of the topic and then there's going to be a mini quiz about what you can remember enjoy the rest of your day of learning and i shall see you soon bye for now